Chapter 547 Lord Adair was not stupid. What kind of opportunity could actually make a person look ten years younger than he originally was? He was afraid that there was only one person in Oris Hill who could do such a miraculous thing. That person was none other than Alex Anderson. Even though Paisel did not respond, Lord Adair knew very well that Paisel must have received this good fortune from Alex. That was the reason why Paisel could become so young all of a sudden. At this time, Paisel could not help but feel a little anxious and complicated. He did not dare to talk about the rejuvenating pill without Alex's approval. After all, Alex had expressly reminded him not to tell anyone else about this matter just yesterday. However, Lord Adair had already guessed it himself. Therefore, Paisel was placed in a very tough spot. When he saw the look on Lord Adair's face, Paisel could only reply awkwardly, Brother Adair, you guessed this on your own. Please do not tell Mr. Anderson that I said anything to you. Mr. Anderson does not want me to tell anyone about this at all. Lord Adair was even more affirmative of his guess after listening to Paisel's words. It seemed as though the person who gave this gift and opportunity to Paisel was none other than his good grandson-in-law, Alex. Lord Adair felt very envious about this. His envy even reached a certain level where he began to feel very jealous of Paisel. How could anyone possibly not want to be like Paisel? He was already in his 70s, but he looked like he was only 60 years old at most. Who wouldn't want to be given an opportunity to live for another 10 years or more? As soon as a person reached middle or old age, they would definitely become more and more afraid of death and old age. Lord Adair was like this too. He had already recovered from a serious illness, but there were still many minor problems with his body. Even though the last magical pill that Alex gave to him could prolong his life for a few more years, it was simply keeping him alive. If it was possible, Lord Adair also wanted to have a body that was ten years younger, just like Paisel. At this time, Lord Adair could only sigh as he said, I never knew that Mr. Anderson had such an amazing and incredible ability. Paisel solemnly replied, Mr. Anderson is really very well versed in the field of medicine. I am afraid that I can only worship and look up to him in this life. Lord Adair sighed once again as he said, if Mr. Anderson could also give me this same gift and opportunity, I would not mind giving him tens of billions of dollars in return for it. Although he said those words, Lord Adair knew very well that he could not go and directly make such a request to Alex. On one hand, he would be betraying Paisel, and on the other hand, he would indirectly be betraying Alex as well. Therefore, Lord Adair felt that he could only wait for a coincidence or the right time for him to receive this gift and opportunity from Alex. He knew that he would not be able to force Alex to do anything no matter what it was. The best opportunity for him to receive this gift would be if Alex became his grandson-in-law. If Faria could marry him, he would not have to worry about any opportunities at all. However, it was a pity that Faria and Alex had not made any clear progress in their relationship whatsoever. This made Lord Adair feel a little worried. It seemed as though he had no choice but to find a way to bring these two young people together. Even if the Adair family had to lose face or even if Faria had to end up becoming his lover, Lord Adair would not have any hesitations at all. This was because Lord Adair knew that as long as Alex and the Adair family had a deeper relationship, Faria would not be the only one benefiting from this relationship. Instead, the whole Adair family would surely gain and benefit from this.